then they're just supposed to, they're just supposed to down. Uh, Tower is taken down, Enigma is tackled. Sand King comes in with a stun, Fino changes using all her spells. Echo, Epicenter, everything's being used. And a Witch Doctor has a triple kill. The Doctor is Aww. out! <laughs> the Doctor is out. That was a pretty bad team fight when you see. Losing all four heroes at once. Well, XP graph um, is in favor of orange. Uh, so is the goal. Goals in favor of orange. Looks like they're doing really well. Uh, despite the fact that we thought their draft well wasn't as well nice to play as MUFC's. I think they just really thought out the lanes more. And it's just a lot easier to take an early advantage when you have better lanes. Interesting thing is that Windrunner went for um, arcane boots instead of their usual base boots. I don't think he really needed phase boots because he could just spam power shot to defend the towers for his team. Ten king. Wow, he tried to just stun out of that, but he still took him down. Looks like Orange might want to take the bottom tower. And since the sand king is out, that's the uh, uh, one hero down, one hero left for them to reckon with. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. The Neko book just holding all the other heroes away from the tower. Enigma forced to Dyer's back off. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's bottom tower has fallen. And bot tower gets taken out. Yep. King just spotting the ward there. Darkseer coming in from the back uh, with that vacuum. Slada taking out the witch doctor. I think Orange is choosing to back off from this tower because you know, the entire team of MUFC is there and after losing that one Witch Doctor, they can't really hold a push. So it looks like MUFC might try to take out the middle. Orange is rushing to mid right now, and see if they can take this tower on up. Yeah, they know that the slaughter for sure is at top. Uh, 
The Venus rain down lots of what? Radiance bottom tower is but under I think attack. It's just gonna be nothing but Dyer's a little nuisance. Like, yeah, just totally ignoring the ward to just focus on the tower. It goes down you know pain. Of pain hasn't really picked up anything new. There's a necro book tree already, oh, so. Oh, okay. Yeah, attack. I was just about to pick that to check. So three. Double damage. No wind runner. What's the wind runner? Wind runner's book is at level two. Power shot just for sight. Stun stops uh, the teleport of the Enigma. I think. He's just gonna go down. He's not even really trying to delay anything. He just decided to go down quietly without much of a fight. Radiant and the next logical thing for Orange top. would be to take the top tower, since that's the last tier 2 standing. Illusion. The last outer tower at that. Middle, on, on the other hand, for Orange is getting attacked. I think they're going to trade towers. Oh, no, no really. they are not trading. Windrunner just came in. And I think he's going to try for a kill on net. Dark Seer as well. Who's going to get this? Looks like Dark Seer gets that kill. I think they were trying to let Shaker get the last hit so that he can get out his link dagger sooner. But more than enough. Maybe. Sometimes it's better to just get a kill when you can. And yeah, but you don't really care too much about who gets it. Mushi is still at the top lane, still trying to take that tower down, and I really think it's gonna go down here. Goes. Wow. He's gotta be uh, super rich now. Uh, he, uh, turned off the glyph, glyph like one second too late. I think that was a really smart sequence of plays by Orangey's parts, because when you're up by so much, there's no reason to trade towers, because you can just easily have your four supports TP back and defend mm -hmm. while Bushy with his Necronomicon pushes the tower gaining your you even more of an advantage So I was just showing everyone the items that all the heroes have. I'm not going to say because this stream is live at the event and everyone there who's playing can hear. King at top getting fissured in his sandstorm. Shackle. He's just been picked off quite a lot this game. And I think that Orange knows that they need to take him out so that their team fight um, will be easier. Sand King buys back. I like Korn just play there, not playing too aggressive, trying to just get in there and kill off the Dire team. 
just really playing it safe and taking really small advantages that'll work to their, you mm -hmm. know, advantage later. Like, getting that tower down so low is just massive. That's in, it's in not deny range, though. It could deny it, actually. So good. The power is down. Yep. How much effort is that? The wall from Dark Sea is down. Uh, we see Ling's Venomancer going in. He just managed to hit a couple of heroes with his ultimate. Uh, Queen of Pain, Black King Bar. Just walking in and out. And Dark Sea is that Dark Sea? Dark Sea has been caught. Black Kingba, and we have a black hole, but black hole is stopped by a shake off. And oh my goodness, we yeah. see epicenter going off on only the Queen oh of Pain, no but play. Queen of Pain is and taken down. <laughs> and now MUFC is on the hunt, uh, they're going after the orange heroes. So it looks they're like, gonna yeah, they're gonna get the witch doctor. <laughs> Uh, yep, he makes the teleport and they've managed to hold off so far, MUFC. Um, their top racks still up. One of them down to almost half HP but still holding up pretty well there. Regeneration. It's really quite a testament to MUFC's play being able to hold their barracks from two Necronomicon 3s. But I, I think the engagement could have gone a little better. Um, Sen King only managed to FP one hero, even though it was very important to catch the Queen of Pain. Um, it might have been, I don't know, more effective if he got a few more heroes in the FP as well. much I like that play, like if they're just ramming into the top barracks to try and defend, to destroy those as fast as possible, there's no real point to pick up a gem on a 900 HP hero. Yeah, that's what I was thinking as well, because it doesn't really do much in this sense, since the only invisible hero they have is Sanction. Uh, like it's only really good if you're just gonna farm all three of your lanes and just take map control. We have pipe, all the heroes are pipe. Fortification being used. Come on, let's see a good engage here. Come on, come on. Then King comes in, he just managed to get his bling dagger out. Um, Queen of Pain, however, has Black King Bar, and that doesn't really hurt her very much. 